Willimantic, our starting point, is a town with a lot of unique things to see and do. From the Frog Bridge, which features four 11-foot frogs sitting atop giant spools of thread, to the Connecticut Eastern Railroad Museum. We knew the trail didn't have any accessible amenities, so we started this ride with lunch at the Willimantic Brewing Company, located in a historical 1909 U.S. Post Office. So what do you think about your lunch? Lunch is very good. The 20 mile long trail is east of Hartford, Connecticut, and is part of the 3,000 mile long East Coast Greenway. What state are we in this time? Connecticut. All right, and we're riding the Hop River Trail. It's, I think, a 22 mile long trail. Um, we started at the trailhead in Willimantic, if that's the way you pronounce the town. There are no bathrooms, no food. There's nothing on this trail, as far as I can understand. And we're, I don't know, several hundred yards from where we parked at the, the Willimantic Trailhead, which is right next to a pet store. <laughs> and that's your bathroom. So um, let's see what happens next. We parked at the easternmost trailhead, which is also the connector to the 55 mile long Airline State Park Trail. The start of this trail was a little bit more than single track. We were both hoping that this wasn't the way the whole trail was going to be. Let's go down here up to that corner, I think. Okay. We couldn't find any markings on where to go next, so I pulled up the trail link app and got us back on track. First few minutes on the trail hasn't turned out to be what I thought. It was a little narrow, sketchy, last minute thought kind of carve out where we started. But we weren't in a, well, I don't know if we weren't in a legitimate parking lot, but it said trail parking. And it was the intersection of the airline trail and where the Hop River come together. But now we're on dirt, and I thought, I don't know, I thought this was paved, but again, that just might be my imagination. Okay, I guess we share the trail with horses. Yippee, that's my favorite. Not that I have anything against the horses, but it'd be nice if they didn't crap in the middle of the trail. Well, we're kind of like out in the middle of nowhere, yeah. but look at this beautiful view right next to you. In 1781, during the Revolutionary War, parts of what is now known as the Hop River State Park Trail were used as the march route of Rochambeau's army on its way to the Hudson River and ultimately to Yorktown. So who is Rochambeau, you may ask? He was a French lieutenant general who brought 5,500 French troops to America to join the Continental Army and fight alongside General George Washington. Together, they trapped British General Cornwallis and 8,000 British troops at Yorktown, forcing their surrender and ending the Revolutionary War.
Okay, we're about six and a half miles in and our first significant road crossing. where we started. It's, it's a real nice trail. It's it's all dirt, but it's smooth. It's rural. Yeah, there's... No amenities. Yeah, not a lot to, to it's new to see, but if you want to go for a nice bike ride, it's, it's nice. Well, there's pretty spots where you see the river. Not a ton of spots, but when you do see the river, it's really quite beautiful. We saw and a fair amount of wildlife. I'm glad we checked it out. I'm glad we checked it out for you guys. 